The scripture's sexual ethic is good for the world because God created uh, the universe to reflect the union of Christ and his church. And so uh, a Christian sexual ethic isn't just a, a good way for Christians to live. This is the way God uh, designed the creation itself. And that's one of the reasons why uh, deviations from a creational biblical sexuality lead to such despair. And it's also the reason why, though I'm not panicked, uh, when I look around at uh, sexual immorality and sexual brokenness around us, that's been the case in every era since the fall. And these sexual revolutions always promise big, but they never deliver on their promises. And so uh, people are ultimately longing for something more than, than just using the body as a vehicle for, for pleasure or for momentary connection and disconnection. God designed us uh, to long for one flesh union, and that uh, that can only take place within that, that covenant union between a man and a woman. And so I think uh, one of the things that we need to do is to try to identify the ways that our neighbors, even those who disagree with us, really do in many ways uh, want uh, the, the very things, if they're not, they're not paying attention to what they're saying, the very things that the Bible teaches. And so often I will pick up with an unbeliever who may disagree with me completely on sexual, sexuality issues, but who is hurt, for instance, after an infidelity. And just say, why uh, is, is infidelity so, so hurtful? And everyone can recognize that. There's, there's something about faithfulness that is good and right. That's because they're created in the image of God. They're created to long for that.